Good afternoon. Today in C354 concrete technology, we will study the concrete mesh design. We will study the concrete mesh design's basics. First of all, what is concrete mesh design? Concrete mesh design may be defined as the art of selecting suitable ingredient of concrete and determining their relative proportions with the object of producing concrete of certain minimum strength and durability as economically as possible. So uh, we must know that what is con what is exactly concrete. Concrete is a metallic structure which is a heterostructural uh, Yeah, which is, which is uh, a heterogeneous mixture, but we assume it as a homogeneous. And the art of selecting suitable ingredients of concrete and determining the related proportions is all about concrete mix design. So, what are the objectives of concrete mix design? The purpose of concrete mix design is to ensure the most optimum of proportions of the construed materials. To fulfill the requirement of structure being built, mixed design should ensure following objectives. These are the objectives, primary objectives of the mixed design. To achieve the design or desired workability in the plastic stage, to achieve the desired minimum strength in the hardened stage, to achieve the desired durability in the given environment conditions, and to produce concrete as economically as possible. Now, what are the basic considerations? The following point must be considered while designing a concrete mix or designing concrete mixes. One, on cost of the uh, work. B, specifications to be followed. C, workability to be achieved. And four, strength and durability to be uh, forecasted or to be achieved while after preparation of this. Now, what what do we if we say about cost? What do we actually mean with this cost? Uh, cost. The cost of concrete is made up of three main costs: material cost, equipment cost, labor cost. So, the variation in the cost of material arises from the fact that cement is several times costlier than aggregate. So, we know in a concrete, the most expensive ingredient is cement. So it is a natural mix design to aim at as uh, at lean as mix as possible. So we have to uh, see that we must prepare a concrete cement which utilizes less or minimum amount of cement within which we can it can give the maximum strength and durability possible or maybe for what it is being designed. Therefore, all possible steps should be taken to reduce the cement concrete of cement content of the concrete mixer mixture without sacrificing the desired properties such as strength and durability or workability. Now what are specifications? So we must keep into uh, we must take into account the specification which is minimum compressive strength required when you are actually finished concrete work or finished product of the concrete process minimum water cement issue must ensure maximum cement content to avoid shrinkage as we must not uh, we must not uh, take uh, cement in excess because if we take cement in excess it will uh, encourage the shrinkage cracks so it will encourage the shrinkage cracks now maximum aggregate or what or cement ratio so we must not see the aggregate and cement ratio uh, to design uh, for the better distribution economic design maximum density of concrete in case of gravity dam. So we must see in gravity dam which is gravity design, we see the density of the concrete and we must ensure the maximum density of the concrete. So this is the pictorial depiction of the concrete and its ingredients. Now workability. The following points to workability shall be kept in mind while designing concrete pieces. What are those points? The consistency of concrete, which should not be more than the, the necessary basic compact and finishing. So, workability or consistency should be enough so that we can.
place, compact and finish it at a desired place. For concrete mixes require high consistency in terms of placing, the use of water reducing, reducing and set and set retarding and mixture should be used rather than the addition of more water. So if we want more, more work, uh, workability or consistency, but with the less amount of water saving ratio, then we must use the additions which are chemical additions, for example, super plasticizer to keep check on the water saving ratio because if we use more water, it will uh, hamper the, the strength, overall strength and durability of the concrete. So, whenever possible, the cohesiveness and finishability of concrete should be improved by increasing sand aggregate ratio by then by increasing the proportion of the fine particles in the sand. So to for better finish we must do that work. So this is the this is how they are showing the flowability of the concrete, workability. Now strength and durability, strength and durability what is strength and durability requires low water cement ratio. It is usually achieved not by increasing the cement content but are lowering the water at given cement content. Water demand can be lowered by throughout control of the aggregate grading and using water reducing additives. So we can do that while keeping in mind, uh, we, we keep in mind strength and durability as well. Now, concrete shall be uh, being in grades designated. These are the grades which is being given in IS 456 Indian Standard Code for concrete structures, which is IS 456. For ordinary concrete, the grade we design or designate the, the mixes we designate are M10, M15, and M20, and their characteristics, compressive strength of um, uh, of a 150 cube made up by that uh, mix concrete at 28 days, 8 newton per square is 10 newton per square, 15 newton per square, and 20 newton per for M, for respectively for these three. Likewise. For standard concrete and like uh, this high strength concrete, so these are the great designations for. Now, what is M20? M refers to the mix, mix which is we have said the concrete mix. 20 refers to the characteristic compressive strength of 150 mm cube at 28 days in Newton per mm square. We must take into account. We must be very precise when we say that 20, 20 is a characteristic compressive strength of 150 mm cube at 28 days in Newton per mm square. Now the minimum grade of plain cement concrete shall be 50 Newton per mm square as per the ICE 456 and the minimum grade of reinforcement concrete shall be 20 Newton per mm square. So we have to take it. Now nominal concrete mix and design mix. So there is a slight difference between nominal concrete mixes and design mix concrete. So nominal, under nominal mix concrete, the wide use of concrete as construction material has led the use of mixes of fixed proportion which ensures adequate strength. These mixes are called nominal mixes. These are pre-designed, pre-defined mixes which each has uh, some proportions specified already. And that proportion we take and we form a we mix we form a mix and that mix is named as nominal mix. They offer simplicity in unknown circumstances and has a margin of strength of this specified. So this is how the nominal mix concrete is being uh, made. Nominal mix concrete will be used for concrete of grades M5, M75, M1015, M30. Now, the proportions of the ingredients in nominal mixes for M5 it is 1, 5, 10, 1 is cement, 5 is sand or fine aggregate, and 10 is coarse aggregate or, or aggregates. Likewise, for separate 5, 10, 15, 20, these are the proportions of cement, fine aggregate, and coarse aggregate. Now, why is design mix concrete? The concrete mix produced under the quality control keeping in view the strength, durability and workability is called design mix. Other factors like compaction, equipment availability, uh, available and then queuing method, 
and obtain type of the cement, quality of fine gate, etc. has to be kept in mind before having the mix proportion. These are these are, these values should be taken into, uh, into account. The design mix of uh, design mix or controlled mix is being used more and more in variety of important structures because uh, the better strength, reduced work, variability, leaner mix with consequent economy and as well as the greater assurance of the resultant quality. So we must see all the uh, all these, uh, the the parameters we must see while designing a mix. Now the factors influencing the choice of the mix design. So according to IS 456 2000 and IS 1343-1980, the important influencing design of concrete mix are greater the concrete, type of cement, maximum or nominal size of aggregate, grading of combined aggregate, now maximum water cement ratio, workability, durability and quality control. These are the factors influencing the choice of this design. We will study number one was first grade of concrete. The grade of concrete gives characteristic compressive strength of concrete. It is the most important factor influencing the mix design. So we know that if it is M20, it will give the characteristic strength of 20 newton per mm square. And if it is M30, the mix strength, compressive strength will be of 30 newton per mm square. If it is M30. So this is how this applies the grade of concrete uh, is the, 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 primary, uh, uh, the primary point uh, which has influenced the property of the concrete and that's why we have placed the first position. So it is very very important to know the grid of the concrete. Now, so these are the grid of the concrete as we see the lean mixes are M5, M5.5 where the cement is less compared to the sand, the fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. Now we are on the concrete from M10 to M50 and standard concrete from M55 to M55 and so it will be high strength concrete or high promise concrete whichever is applicable. Now the type of cement, the rate of development of strength of concrete is influenced by the type of cement. So we must also see there are many types of cement which have, we have already studied in the last lectures and the higher the strength of cement used in the concrete, the lesser will be the cement content. The use of 43 graded, 53 graded cement gives saving in cement consumption as much as 15 to 25% respectively for both. As compared to 33 grade cement, for concrete grade M95, it is advisable to use 43 to 53 grade of cement. So, what is what is the basic difference between the 43 to 53 grade and what exactly 43 to 53 grade is? So if we are saying 43 grade cement, then we must know that we have made a, a cube, cubes uh, for, of this cement and has taken the composition strength of cement and that comes to be 43. So likewise, what we have done in concrete, you know, concrete mixing, the strength and the grade of concrete is defined, likewise the cement the grade is also defined. And this is how we know that 43 is, uh, have, is comparatively inferior in strength than 53. Get us complete. Now, the maximum nominal size of aggregate. The maximum size of coarse aggregate is defined by C analysis. It is designated by the C size higher than the large just size on which 15% or more of the aggregate is retained. So, the maximum nominal size of coarse aggregate should not be more than the one fourth of the minimum thickness of the member. So, this is the thumb rule that. We must uh, not exceed the, uh, the size of the coarse aggregate must not be exceed, exceeded when you are designing for a concrete mix than more than the one fourth of the minimum thickness or minimum dimension of your element, which your element you are making. And for heavily reinforced concrete members, as in the case of ribs of maybe, the nominal maximum size of the aggregate should usually be restricted to some less than the medium clear distance between the main bar or higher less than the medium bar of the uh, reinforcement, whichever is smaller. This is how we can do this. We can uh, ascertain the value of the, the, uh, the aggregate, size of the aggregate. The vulnerability of concrete increases with the increase in the maximum size of the aggregate. But the smaller size of the aggregate provides larger surface area for bonding with the motor matrix, which gives higher strength. So we must also see that the increase in the aggregate size will increase the perturbability but at, at the same time it will decrease 
the specific surface area which is required for gripping bit among uh, among the aggregate placed in that ingredient and other other ingredients also. So we have to take this into account. Now grading of combined aggregate, the relative portion of the fine and coarse aggregate in a concrete mix is one of the most important factors affecting the strength of concrete. So we must have to see the uh, the Grading of the combined aggregate or fine aggregate portion altogether. For dense concrete, it is essential that the fine and coarse aggregate be well graded. In the case when aggregate available from the natural sources do not conform to the specified grading, the proportion of the two or more aggregate become essential. So we must see the, the ratio in which we are uh, adding the fine aggregate and coarse aggregate should be good enough so that our end objective should will be fulfilled. Now, this is the uh, C number and the uh, percent passing of the, this is the, how we uh, calculate the combined grade. Maximum water cement ratio. So, Abraham's water cement ratio states that for any given condition of the uh, of test, the strength of workability concrete is dependent only on water cement ratio. The lower the water cement ratio, the greater is the compressive strength. So, we must keep in mind that water cement ratio lowers. If the water ratio is less, the, the, the strength will be more at the time. Workability of the fresh concrete determines the case with which a concrete mixture can be mixed, transported, placed, compacted, and finished without harmful segregation and breed. Now, durability. Durability requires low water cement ratio, as we know, we have already done in the last, last slide. It is usually achieved not by increasing the cement content but by lowering the water demand at the given cement content. So we add the superfluid to keep the uh, to keep a, a, a cap on the water cement ratio and maintain the workability at the same time. Water demand can be lowered by the, through the control of the aggregate grading by using water reducing admixtures. Now these are the uh, some methods which are commonly used uh, in mixed design. They are IS method, we can ASA method, then uh, road road four method, we can also tell UQ method and RC44 method, SNST method, finance and this are the methods we can read out easily. Among that we were more concerned about the Indian standard method of mixed design. So, the Bureau of Indian Standard recommended a set of procedures for design of the concrete mix. The procedure is based on the research work carried out at the national laboratories. Now, the data for mixed design, the following basic data are required to be specified for design concrete mix. Characteristic composite strength, only a few specified proportions of the test results are expected to fall of the concrete act. 28 days. So we have to see the test composition of the concrete, degree of the workability desired, desired limitation of water cementation, medium cement water medium cement content to ensure tight and excess of the area to be used and standard division of the composition of the concrete. So we, these are the, uh, the things that will be given by designing ice split. Now what we find we find the we have to find the target strength for mixed design. So we must find the composite strength. At 28 days with the formula FCK equals to FCK plus TS target strength, where FCK is the target average composition strength 28 days, and FCK small FCK will be the characteristic composition strength 28 days of the concrete, and small S will be the standard deviation. Uh, small T will be the test a statistical value depending upon the accepted portion of the low results and the number of tests. So this uh, this we have to find the capital FCK we have to find according to I use. 456 2000 and IS 1343 1980. The characteristic strength is defined as the value below which not more than 5% of results are expected to fall. So, in such cases, the above equation is reduced to FCK equals to FCK plus 1.65. So, we will take, generally, we take this equation as such and then the statistical value we will take and put the value in there. Now, the value of standard deviation is obtained from the table. That we have given from the table, and that table is this one. So, this is for say, dirt concrete and then we have very good sand division. 
with step 6 calculation of aggregate contained with the quantities of water and cement per unit volume of the concrete and the ratio of the fine to total aggregate already determined the total aggregate contained per unit volume of the concrete will be calculated from the this formula that this is the uh, mathematical value which you have to calculate for fine and for the course from the absolute value which we got earlier So this is for the fine aggregate, this is for the coarse aggregate. So in that formula, these are the given values which we have given. Now the calculated mix proportion shall be checked by means of trial batches. The quantity of material should be sufficient about at least 3 150 room size of cube concrete specimen. So we must check what we got, is it correct or we have to again modify it. Now, using uh, IS method, as we have seen in IS method before, we can design the uh, concrete mix with the given, uh, uh, with using the IS code and the methods of this. For that, we uh, the, the values are given, such as characteristic of the strength 20 to per square, massive size of air gas 20 m, which is angular, degree of workability 0.9 cf. Uh, Published factor, degree of quality control, which is good, and that exposure is mild. So, this is the test data which is given, and uh, we have given data, and now we have to calculate the mix design. So, we have told you step one target mean strength, this formula will apply in that FCK is given, T is given, S equals to 451, we will take 9.5, which is shown in the slide, take for ambiguity because we have going for M20, therefore the target mean strength of the M20 will be 26.6 meter per square. Step second will be section water cement ratio from the figure free water cement ratio required for the target mean strength of the 22.6 m square is 0.5. From figure which we have shown in the last that for 28 days strength of cement 51 meter per square for curve D the free water rate is 0.52. For the table, the maximum free water cement ratio for the minus point is 0.55. Hence, the free water cement ratio is taken the minimum of all these three values. So, we have told you that we have to see the values in the tables, which is given nice code, and according to that, the minimum value we will get. So, the minimum value for the 6.6 target mean is 0.5, which we will take. So, step 3 will be the estimation of the air content, and for maximum size of area 21, which we have taken. Air content is taken as 2 percent. Now, selection of water and sand content. So, table from the table given in the past slides for 20 of nominal maximum size aggregate and sand confirming to grading zone 2. Water content per cubic meter of concrete equals to 186 kg. The sand content as percentage of the total aggregate by absolute volume is equals to 35 percent. So, from, the, from here, we will get the water which is 186 kg per meter cube of concrete and sand is 35% of total aggregate by absolute volume. So, so change, if you want to change the in values is water cement ratio, compaction factor and sand belonging to zone 3, the following adjustment is required. So, we have to adjust the, the values of water cement ratio. And the required water content after adjustment will be 191.6 liter per meter cube. And required sand content as per the percentage of total absolute value will be 51.5%. Now, interpretation will contain water sand content 0.5, water is 199.6, we will get the uh, value of C as 383 kg per meter cube, which is greater than 10 kg as, uh, per meter cube as per the minimum requirement of cement. Uh, so that's why 33 is greater than 30 kg, so we are going so we are going correctly in the correct direction. And admission of fine sand per aggregate, consider the volume of concrete 1 meter cube, but entire air weight concrete, wet concrete is 2%. Therefore, the volume of fresh concrete now remains to be 0.98 meter cube. So with that 0.98 meter cube should be close to this 
for finding a gate, and that finding it comes up to be 558 kg per mass of oh, finding a gate, and that should be minus from this value. So uh, the course area will be 0.256.24 kg mass, and this is how we will reach to the uh, values of the proportion. What is the point five cement one for again one point two four two and cos again two point six four four and in the mass in the volume fifty five liter of water fifty kg of cement fifty kg of aggregate and sixty four kg of cos aggregate. So this is how we define that. Then we have many examples to do that. This is the second example which can be done. In the next exercise, so so in the next lecture we will design that uh, again uh, the composite uh, the mixed design as per the IS one zero two six two we design and will take care of the concrete mix. So thank you.